guys, just a quick little video for you today. Um, I got a notice in the mail the other day for a recall on the Ranger. It was for the um, accelerator pedal. And I guess what was happening is some of the uh, gas pedals were sticking on some of the models and they wanted to um, just go ahead and replace that unit so that uh, people wouldn't have any incidences. Um, I didn't experience anything, but um, you know, I'm, I work at a dealership and I, I'm kind of familiar with how recalls work. So they, they don't put out a recall unless they've had a number of incidences and they need to take care of the situation. So I'm sure some people have had the issue. I don't know if you have, but uh, I personally haven't. So um, I just want to kind of let you know what to expect. Um, so when I called them up, I advised them that um, I don't have a trailer um, to, to bring my ranger down to the dealership and they said well it's okay we'll arrange to have somebody come pick it up they have a driver that works for them once a week and um, he'll go do pickups and deliveries so I had him pick it up on a Wednesday because that was the day that um, he was available and they took it back to the dealership and I waited and waited a few days and I uh, didn't hear anything so I called him back and I'm like so what's going on and they're like oh well we have to um, you know inspect the vehicle see what parts are in it and then uh, if we need to upgrade the part, we have to order the part and then we have to install it. And I kind of figured that because uh, that's usually how it works um, at the dealership I work at. But um, they didn't know how long it was going to take to get the part. So I said, well, I need my vehicle back because we're getting some snow and I need to clear out my driveway. So I had them deliver it back to me. Um, it was still running the same. And then I don't know, maybe a couple of weeks later, uh, they called and said, OK, your part's here. And then I had to wait for another Wednesday when the drive was available and um, they came down, picked it up and it's a pretty easy install. Um, they did it probably in an hour or so and then brought the vehicle back to me the same day. So just be aware that um, when you set up the appointment for the recall, um, you're not going to just bring it down there and have them fix it and drive it home. They have to inspect it and then order the parts. Um, you might want to check to see if they have the parts in stock before you bring it down there. Sometimes they do, but sometimes they only order them specifically for the vehicle. Um, so you might want to check into that before you arrange to have it looked at. But let me show you um, what it was they replaced. Hang on. Okay, so inside where the gas pedal is, um, I believe it's this module right here because it's all um, electronic. They call it fly-by-wire. It's not like the old cars where they had a linkage. Uh, it's all electronically operated. So they basically just pull that piece out, put a new one in. And... All right, guys, so I just wanted to share that with you. Um, just to kind of give you a heads up of what to expect if you get this recall notice. Um, you know, like I said, my dealership um, was nice enough to have somebody come down and pick up the machine and bring it back uh, as I don't have a trailer. So if you don't have one, you might want to check with your local dealer, see if they have that service available also. Uh, customer service was, you know, it was good. I can't really complain. Um, I didn't expect them to have the part in stock because they, they usually don't when there's a recall. They usually want to make sure that your vehicle needs it rather than flood the dealership with a ton of parts that they may not need. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, so just, you know, check with your dealership, see if they have parts in stock and see if they have pickup and delivery available. Um, just wanted you to be aware of that. So uh, that's about it. So if you guys like the video, give a share, give a thumbs up, give a like, and I will catch you on the next one. Thank you. Thank you.